take a look at here. So this is uh this is off Rollis Clips channel. So this chick right here, this is a girl who has consistently been on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Um, and she's very entitled. This girl, in my opinion, stinks of like a rich father who took care of her and she kind of resents him. Um, that's the energy I get from her. This is Torsha. Uh, she's basically a red pill commentary girl. And, um, you know, th this, this girl is just... Something else. I just want you to take a look here and listen because this is a very, you'll just, you'll pick up the vibe. Deal, marital situation or everything we're talking about. Do you want to get married? Yeah, what's, ideally. So I, I grew up in Israel and over there, I guess the 20th century is the norm. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets married in their early 20s. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. Um, and my parents have a gorgeous marriage and with traditional gender roles. I would like at some point to meet a partner who can be that for me. Um, but I'm not at all, at all ready to do that anytime soon. So translation, I just want to go out and get fucked a bunch and just party and do what the fuck I want. And I'm expecting there to be no negative repercussions for my actions. And also when I'm ready, I know that the perfect man will just be standing there waiting for me. Oh, I agree, because uh, she's counting on her beauty to last until she's ready. Well, I actually watched this whole show. I, I, I don't spend a lot of time watching Red Pill stuff, but I watched this whole show. Mm -hmm. She was with a blue check mark guy, mm -hmm. and he kind of fucked her over. Mm. And, you know, she, she talks about it in the show, that, but the, you know, the issue is, is she saw all these warning flags as she said and she still went through with it because she's the special princess she's the exception to the rule right you know and then then you know it didn't do it didn't end well and here she is now carrying that scar i guess with her into the next relationship and every woman that you know every woman that goes through these multiple relationships in their 20s they carry that baggage in with them mm. and you know, it's it's hard for a guy to live up because each time there's baggage, it creates a new set of standards that that guy must meet because they never want to feel that pain again. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Yep. So that's why when you see when you get a thirty year old gal or mm -hmm. a forty year old gal or a fifty year old gal, there's so much damage there that you know it's not really worth dating them for the most part. Yeah. You know, I've actually seen that struggle too, even with a woman that hasn't dated that much, but with a uh, a widower, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and trying to try that had a, actually a very good husband after some twenty five years that passed away, trying to date again, and uh, it's not a pretty sight. Everybody's got to live up to that standard. They're saying that she was with uh, Tristan Tate. Is that who she was with? One of the Tate brothers. I don't know if that's who it was. She didn't give the name, but she did talk about him. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't. I didn't get that from what she was saying, but mm -hmm. she knew all the, you know, she followed him on Instagram and she knew everything that was going on in his life, and she still went and dated him. Mm. Let's let's continue. I want to break down this clip a little bit more for the guys in the audience as well. Just giving you the idea of the delusion here, Tori. And that's uh, one thing that bothers, like the thing about her too that bothers me, dude. This is a super padded bra. Her tits are not even that big. I get really pissed off about this. That's just a personal thing. They wear a super padded bra, and I take it off. She's like a B cup max because I've seen her on Instagram. Uh, this is false advertisement. You deserve to have your heart broken. Oh, I love it. Anything over your mouth falls a waste. Oh, I hate it. Oh, you really? Oh no, I can't. I can't. I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm whatever. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, for me, I, I like thirty four being up ideally. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Twenty three. Right. Mm -hmm. This is when you're supposed to make a. She, so the girl on the left is 23, Torch is 27, rest in peace. But <laughs> that's how it would fix things. But nobody, like, I'm from a, I'm 27. When I was 23, mm -hmm. I was in no way ready to say that's the guy and make the bet on the guy. Mm -hmm. I'm using you as an example. You so, right sorry. Ahead. Okay, don't think that. Use I'm, like, me all you like. Rude, <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. um, but, like, you want to be independent. One way that it could, this whole thing could be fixed was if women were dependent on men, but we took that away. 
So women, there's, what is it, 60% are in college? Mm -hmm. 60, 40. 60, 40. So 60% 60 of women are getting college educated. Women will divorce a man if they don't make, um, you have to make the same, no. 58% more makes you economically attractive. Yeah, so women are like, I want a guy that makes the same as me or more, which well, that would incentivize same, me to make more because well, then he would make more. <laughs> well, hold on. So in order to be the same, they have to make 58% more. Do you see what I'm saying? Like that doesn't make sense. So if a woman is making 100 grand, a guy needs to make 158,000 exactly. a year in order to appease the woman? No, or else she To be divorced. economically attractive. Yeah, no. she will. Do, there's, don't wait. Well, 75% the, of women are the ones that initiate divorce. It's higher than that. It's more than really? that. It's like about 80%. I always, and it comes I, down I peg to it. Financial. It depends on whose numbers you're looking at. It's going mm. to be anywhere between 70 and 80. I see oh. 79 really commonly but okay so but back but my to the point question is, yeah like if women are divorcing men at a 79 percent rate whatever and the reason is financial and there's a direct correlation between women divorcing men when they out earn them hmm. women have to be dependent on men in order for a marriage to actually work she wants to be here's where i disagree completely well this is stats it's not that one has to be dependent on the other it's that one has to accept the role of the nurturer and then the person who nests and the person who who and then the other person has to be the one who provides i don't agree again this is like if, yeah do you think i get spoiled brat vibes from her big time yeah, she's not really even hearing what Tori says. And I got to say something about Tori. I, I really wasn't familiar with her, but uh, yeah, she's doing a pretty damn good job here. And uh, she caught my attention because she called me a troll on uh, Paul's channel. So I, I guess I'm a fan now. <laughs> <laughs> she saw my avatar and said, oh, that's fake. He's a troll. <laughs> said, okay. <That's> <laughs> but she's doing a good job here. But I don't think this gal is actually here. She, she's blocking. She's not hearing it. She mm -hmm. just disagrees. And actually, can you see something here? Look at her face. She's mm -hmm. starting to get emotional. I could, you could see she kind of, if you back up just a little, she wants to jump in that conversation. So that's showing yeah. that she's getting emotional about that uh, comment that Tori made. Yeah. Well, she, she, wants, right. she wants to prove them wrong. Right. And she can't, you know, that that's the thing. She wants her feelings to prove them wrong. You know, by, by feeling through this, she can prove this wrong. It's not wrong. The numbers are the numbers. But that's that's you know, and we talked about this you know in one of the webinars. You know, that's her that's her frustration, and that emotion that frustration is bringing out this emotion. It's a little bit of anger. It's a little bit of disgust, but ultimately, it's her wanting to say, "You guys are just wrong," with no basis for why they're wrong. Just you're wrong, because it doesn't suit my narrative, the narrative that I built in my mind about life. Oh, yeah. And when she was on the Fresh and Fit, too, I noticed a girl, girls like her, she gets super, super triggered. She, she like, something inside of her, like, like is causing her, to like, to not even sit there and calmly listen. She, like, needs to interject. She needs to validate her own emotions that are being affected by the conversation before her. She doesn't want to live in reality. And the thing is, with with simp culture, you know, America being simp nation number one, she's constantly validated with all her stupid ideas and stupid mm -hmm. opinions about, about a bunch of beta guys around her for the sole reason of one thing only. They just want to fuck her. Yeah, I could see. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I could see tension on her face right now. So. You can see past all the Botox. She's living away from her cultural uh, upbringing. I mean, she, she told your mom and dad are from Israel. They live in Israel. They've been happily married for 40 something years. Mm -hmm. and, you know, she, she even, I think she even talks about her sister who's in a, in a long-term marriage, you know? So out of that group, she's the only outlier. So, yeah. you know, that it starts out with her having to defy culturally what she's, what she's been taught mm -hmm. and embracing something that's against what she, against her basically values the core values that she was taught, taught as a child. And then she has to justify that. So the only way she can justify that is through, you know, accepting whatever she's trying to take in and denying everything else. Yeah. Yep. The black sheep of the family. Right. 
agree with this notion that women that need to be dependent on itself, men. Though. Would, you be, would you be okay with a guy who makes less money than you, wants to be a house husband, and wants to be the nurturer who sits at home while you're going off I have off an to answer work? for you. I recognize this biological attraction that I have to men who are providers, but that does not at all mean that I'm going to um, put myself in a vulnerable position. It means that I'm going to be attracted to a guy who's going to spoil me, you know, whether it's with money or with uh, whatever. Attention Time, or... affection. Oh, the vulnerable thing. She considers anything other than her ideal as weakness. And that's just not true. It's actually a strength. She has it 180 degrees wrong. Yeah. Wraith, you want to add to that? Well, I mean, like I said, I, I've watched the whole thing. And, you know, she's, she's got some um, skewed understanding of relationships mm. in the sense that, um, you know, she wants the provider. She wants to be taken care of, but she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to admit or have to know that she's being taken care of. Mm. And she, she stinks of rich kid. In my opinion, she stinks a rich kid. Probably so. Or at least upper middle, you know, upper middle class. Um, mm. Like spoiled brat is what I'm saying. Yeah. And I think she's, I think I, I'm trying to remember. I watched this about three days ago. I think she's also the youngest mm. in, in of the of the family. Um, so therefore, you know, she's been given more probably than her sisters. And her, so you know, she expects more. To be she, honest, I, I would on terms. Sorry, go ahead. You, she expects no, more. She expects more. She expects it on her own terms. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of entitlement with her, fueled by the culture as well. To be very honest with you, this is what I smell on her. And I'm, I would love to talk to this chick on Fresh and Fit and when I go down there in May. But my thing is I think that she comes from a well-off family. She's spoiled. And I think she may have found out that a dad cheated on the mom. And that's why she's so resentful to these traditional roles. Because I've seen this before in, in other women. When they idealize their dad, they feel good. But then they find out about the infidelity and their mother doesn't conceal it from them or do a good job of like, you know, kind of washing over it. And they get scarred from a young age, but not understanding the reality of men. That's that's really what I pick up off her. I could be wrong. Oh, no, no. Good, good call. I haven't even thought of it that way, John. But when you put it like that, I, I, I have an example in my head I'm thinking of. I think you I think you might have sniffed something out there. That mm. could be right. I, th I think I've seen that. Mm hmm. Yeah, that, that's what I think. I think she's, she comes from upper middle class. It, she was taken care of for a little bit, but I think then dad cheated on mom. She, he got busted. There was a little bit of emotional hurt going on with her, and now she's like kind of defiant towards these traditional roles in order to protect herself from being hurt again in the future. I, I think that's what I think, at least. So uh, but mom and dad are still together now. Is that Did she say that? I don't yeah, I they're think still, they, they're, they're still together. together married for i think she said like 30 or 40 years and i bet she resents the mom a little bit as being weak for not leaving the dad for that bit but she doesn't understand that like dude honestly i'll tell you this and it's an, it's uncomfortable unpopular opinion but the girls that like girls who know that their man is kind of stepping out on them but they're like kind of like deluding themselves about it not happening they also know that deep inside like I'm better than these girls because he's just throwing these bitches away. And I'm the one getting Louis Vuitton. I'm the one getting hugs. I'm the one getting date nights. I'm the one getting roses. I'm the one going on vacation. These hoes are just getting fucking pumped and dumped. And I, and I think those kind of chicks are few and far between because there's a lot of ego involved these days. But mm -hmm. they, don't, they also don't understand how men can love a woman to the ends of the earth that would jump in front of a car to save her because he truly loves her and still go fuck some bitch off tinder and, and never forget you know just forget about that bitch like just had a it's like eating a piece of bread like i just needed to do it for nurturing you know but that's right that's that they don't understand that 